Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a great day. Well, we have another unbagging. So let's see what we have and who it's from. Alright, well these look like pretty big items here. All right, this comes from Paint Some Way, and we have three things to look at. So we'll start with this, and I'm not real sure what this looks like because I can't remember, but I thought I would get another one and try a different storage system, if you will. put that down there now this is a 28 what do you call it section if you will storage and I wanted to see how well it was made we're just going to cut that open because we're not going to now this was four ninety nine trying to figure out how it goes okay so we just turn it this way and each one pops open they're very well stuck shut and snap shut so if you had a beaded project you could put the number or the symbol I just write with my sharpie and when I'm done I take a piece of paper towel and some sanitizer and wipe the numbers off it comes right off that's what I do on my other ones so if you had a project that was 28 um, symbols you could use that now I'm not real sure you know what bugs me is if you have them all full hang on, I've got to move this out of my way it keeps crinkling you know, if you were going to pour, like, some into the tray, it's kind of wide. So, you could also use this for if you did uh, jewelry making, you know, put the different little things in there. So that you could just open it up, you know, and get what you needed and then shut it. You're not moving or transferring, like, drills. So, I don't know how well that would work for that. But they're not going to come undone. They're very, they snap very nicely and they're very tight. It's not hard exactly, it's just very well snappable. Now, a long time ago, there was a person on YouTube, I think her name is Crayolapex, and she was doing a beaded cross stitch, and she had one that was a little bit deeper. As you can see, this is only about a half an inch deep, but she had all of her beads in here, and so she'd just open it up and we're going to use this as a, you know, and pick out, pretend this is a needle, you know, pick out which one she wanted. So she wasn't transferring, transferring them anywhere. So it might work well for beaded cross stitch. So I don't know, but you can use it for whatever you want. But for $5, I think that's a pretty good deal. They're very nicely made, you know, real heavy duty. And I don't know about dropping them, you know, if anything would snap open, but like I said, it takes a little, a tiny bit of effort, you know, to get that open. So I don't know after you've used it 10,000 times if that would wear down. You know what I mean? Because I do have some of these that I've used over. We have seeds off the tree. I have the door open. Um, I've used several times, and sometimes they just don't want to go snap really tight so when I go to pour out a color I don't know if I can get this open ouch so when I go to get a color out I put my hand over the rest of them open up the one I need put it into the the diamond tray or whatever and that way there's no chance but with these they're they're pretty solid so we'll see I'll have to let you know you know if I use it for a project you know how it goes so 
I don't have a project right now that I can use it for, but I'm sure in the future there will be something. So, But it's very nicely made for $5. I think that's an awesome deal. All right. So the next thing we have is this cute little cat picture. Where is it? it it's a, and it's not little. It's a 40 by 50, and it was $5.99, but it is a partial. It's from DIY Cross Stitch. I don't know, 40 by 50 seems awfully big for this. Undo that and flip it over. Now, this time on the DIY, there is no number here. But as you can see, it's a cat and he's looking up and then there's like a mama cat or something. They're like nose to nose. But it's just, I think it's cute. And it has left some beautiful colors. Let's see here. Hang on. It was getting a little windy out there, so I wanted to close that before everything started blowing in. Anyway, it has 23 colors. It is a partial. You don't do the background. It does have the product number, how big it is, and it's 129 squares by 173. And this would have to be blown up for me. It, it looks clear, but it's very tiny. So I would have to blow it up if I was going to use this. It's on that shiny, shiny paper. So let's see what the colors look like here. There's not too much of it. But we have lots of oranges and pinks and purples. A little tad bit of grayish. I can't tell if that's purple or gray. It, it's really close. There's some more gray and light tan but yeah just some beautiful beautiful colors and look at that purple it's like a, a red violet beautiful 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 colors so there's not much threads like I said not too big maybe I wrote the wrong well it did say did it not say it said 40 by 50 so maybe they're just strung out different and there's not that much stitching so let's take a look Oh, it's not very big. It is not surged all the way around. Very nice and big. But I'm happy that this isn't long and skinnier than I expected. You know, I, I expected this thing to be like 70, you know, uh, what do you call it? Centimeters long, you know, for some reason. I don't know. But it does have the colors, the DMC. The symbols are very nice and big. Very easy to read numbers. Very easy to read symbols. So there shouldn't be a problem. It does look a bit confettied here and there. But as I said, there's not a lot of stitching in this. So there's not a lot of thread, which is awesome. It does have the product number. Oh, I was going to say, where's the needles? They always put needles. There are two needles right there. And the product number, how big it is, and how many squares per square. I'm going to turn it this way. As you can see, it, it's not too terribly big. I think I can almost get it all in there. But I just thought it was really interesting looking. Because all the flowers and the butterflies and everything kind of make up the cat and the leaves. You know, you do have some solid colors in there, but I just thought it was cool looking. I'm just different, I guess. I don't know. Where? Oh. I'm telling you, one of these days, Harry. All right. It's 50 by 40. Actual size is. 15 and 3 quarters or 40 centimeters long by pretty close to 30 which is about 11 and 3 quarters so a 30 by 40 no yeah 30 by 40 right I hate when I do that 30 by yeah 30 by 40 so it's not too big. There's not a whole lot of stitching in this. An 11 count, it should be very easy to read. So yeah, in a heavy duty 
canvas. Very nice canvas. Very well darkly printed. You know, there's a piece of fuzz and it will not come off of there, for goodness sake. But yeah, I just thought it was cute and maybe something you could do in the summer because it's not very big. So yeah, it's awesome. And did I tell you? It was $5.99, so not too expensive either. All right. Now the last one is a big one. I'm trying. Get a hold of it. Get it out of that big old bag. Let me see which way it goes. This is called Xanadu. Yeah. I'm going to put your picture of it right here. Okay, this is a 40 by 80 full coverage. does have the product number here. 40 by 80. It is 321 by 148. And that's the squares per square. And I'm trying. This is all on one big page. But it's very nicely printed. Very easy to read. Thank God it's not counted. It does have the instructions on what to do. How to start. How to finish. And how to stitch down here. Let's see if I can get it all the way open. This has got some colors in it. It's got 48 colors. But very nice. Very big. Easy to read. Canvas. I mean, not canvas, printed pattern. This is all going to match your canvas, is where I was going. So let's take a look at the thread colors. I'm just going to turn it here in case I got a question. Okay, it comes with two poof balls and five needles, a thimble, a bobbin, and a needle threader. We'll just set that aside. Look at these colors. Yeah, there's some extra colors in there, all right. Ah, sorry. You know me. Get too close, and everything goes to pieces. There we go. So sorry. My bad. If I can just get the colors out. I like how they do that, though, and that way they don't get mushed and all moved around and all knotted up by the time you get it. It's very nice. So you got three hanks of three different colors, I believe. We have eight, 800. We have 775. I love that blue. It's just a little bit more pale than the other one. And this beautiful gold, which is 728. Just beautiful. I'm going to lay them up there out of our way. Look at the arrays of colors as I'm doing this. Undoing it, I should say. My goodness gracious. Let me shake it. There is a lot of thread here. We'll go with the first one. If I could just get it separated. Look at the blues and just rainbow colors. Just rainbow colors. And this is 3865 and 40. Three is three seven five six. It's kind of got a green tone to it. But look at that pink and beautiful. It looks like seafoam green and the gold. Just gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Let me get the rest of them. They escaped out of my hand because I told you they're really kind of heavy. Try to get them separated now. All right. But yeah, we still have more oranges and reds and tans and browns. You have purples and what is this, like a dark red violet. Just gorgeous greens. Oh, can you ever. Just bright, vivid, beautiful colors. Look at those pinks and look at that purple. I know it's got to be five. Okay, come on, come on. Don't disappoint me. Yeah, it's 550 purple. That's my purple. It's like a royal purple, but look at the pinks. Oh, and the blues. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you know we're going to have to start this puppy because, yeah, it's the color, it's the color, it's the color. Look at that wad of thread. Look how wide that is. I told you there was some thread there. Let's open up 
this. Get it undone. I don't think I can show it all, but we'll try. This is about the size that I bought. I've had a couple this size, this 80 size, and I like it. Very easy to rekey. It is surged all the way around before I forget. And sometimes, no, I was looking to see. Sometimes they have extra needles, you know, with these bigger kits. But very easy to read numbers and the symbols. Everything matches your paper, remember. And the pattern that's on there, all the symbols are the same. So it's very easy to see. Just beautiful. And it's not very wide. Let me see here. We're trying. It is 78 inches, give or take, because of the folds in the material. So 78 and a half by 40. So they got it going that away. The actual picture is, hold that thought. is 72 centimeters which is a little bit over 28 and a half so it's not very big by 13 28 and a half by 13 and a quarter inches but it is solid I mean you know you stitch the whole thing holy cow boy we went around the horse with around the barn with that horse didn't we yeah beautiful and it is a little confetti here and there but you do have your rivers of color I'm just gonna try to whoops sorry yep just beautiful okay enough bell enough but very easy to read symbols and it's pretty heavy canvas you know it's like the bigger it gets the less stiff it is so this one's less stiff than the first one that I showed you but very nice very easy to see very easy to read symbols just beautiful I'll be right back and we're gonna start this All right I am back and I'm not sure what color number I have I suppose I can look it up here just a second. 26. See, I told you I was going to need this. 26 is 817. It's kind of a bright red. And I'm starting in. I forgot what symbol I was going to stitch on. The lower left hand corner. Just for the sake of the video, shall we say? And I'm using one of the needles out of the kit. So Paint Some Way has free shipping on orders over $49. They do cross stitch and pre-stamped and counted. They have diamond painting in all flavors of diamond painting that you want to do. You know, round, square, rhinestones. And they also have diamond painting crafts. And they have paint by number. And I don't know how they're paint by, not paint by number. They're, I was going to say custom. Let's start over. They have Cross stitch, diamond painting, and paint by number. I don't know if they do all three of those in their custom or not. Because some do and some don't. Molly? Seriously. Get down. And they do have a separate Joy Sunday section. So that's always good. I usually don't start at the bottom left, but 
it was just that easy so that's what we're doing this time I don't think this color is as bright as 666 it's on the verge of it though it, it's pretty bright red and they have very few cross stitch tools there but I think they're adding things all the time so that's good and they do have I don't know if they have tools for the paint by number but they do for diamond painting and they also have a section where they, you know, can break things down to in the different levels of stitching, like beginner, novice, medium, intermediate, and then whatever they have at the top. So you could, if that's all you wanted to look at, you know, you can go and look at, you know, whatever section suited your skill level. So that's always nice to have. I do like that. And they always have very good prices. Very budget friendly. I don't know if right now they are having um, any kind of sales. You know, sometimes they have 10 or 15% off or 20% off the whole site or whatever. If there is, I will put it in the description box below along with the free shipping information and what is in the store along with the links to these uh, cross stitch kits and the uh, in the storage of course so that'll always also be there so but I just wanted to stitch just a little bit of this I think this puppy's gonna get its own uh, one of my one of my plastic bags because it's got so much stuff going on with it. Sometimes you know the plastic bags that they all come in are okay and they last a long time, but I just sooner get it nailed down into one of my plastic storage bags so that nothing gets lost or separated. Very nice red. I don't know what this is going to be when it grows up. I didn't even look on the pattern. I just, oh, I'm going to stitch on that corner. I guess there's some red flowers here in the corner right there. So that's where I'm starting, right in there. So, yeah. But I love those colors. They're so bright. I saw this, and it's just the right size. It's not, oh my goodness, breathtaking, like, yeah, no huge because heaven knows we have those but this was a nice size you know 40 by 80 so yeah it's not too long it's not too wide I do like that part so and very easy to hold in your lap I do have the the clips if I can get it down there we go there's a clip on this side and it, I just rolled it this time sometimes Oh my goodness, we're just dropping everything. You know, sometimes I'll put the clips in the middle of it to hold it, but I put it at each end and they don't stick out, you know, so you're not clunking it into everything. So this is about as wide as a person, you know, unless you're way small and tiny, you know, so it's not too hard to handle. I have some that are, what, close to four feet across. Yeah, yeah. We need to acquire a lot of, of of people and a great big table and everybody can just cross stitch. That would be nice, but I don't know that many people. Not at all. But do go check out if, um, Paint Some Way. I've ordered from them 
uh, personally. So I, I've always had good results. And this I ordered on the 19th of May. And this is the, is it the 5th or 6th? Of, and I got it yesterday, of course, you know, because we don't get mail on Sunday. Ouch. So it didn't take very long at all. You know, you have to, uh, what do you call it? Compensate for the fact that they get the order and then, you know, they get it together or whatever. And then it might take a day or two, one way or the other, to ship it out. You know, I don't know what their shipping schedule is. But, uh, yeah, so that, I thought that was pretty good time. Pretty good time. So do go check them out. I'm just going to fold that back there. I don't have one of my... Ouch. Stabbed myself, sort of. We're good, though. We're good. See, we're not even bleeding. Not even bleeding. Yeah, I went like that to touch it. But, yeah, I think this is going to be a beautiful project. And there's lots of different elements to this. As you can see, could have seen in the picture. You know, there's a lot going on. There's a little meadow, and then you got flower or flowers trees and you got flowering bushes and you got a little stream and something going on here in the background looks like a little mountains and stuff but and even I don't know if there's animals you'll have to tell me because I can't remember if there was actually animals in this picture or not but yeah so do check out paint some way if you thank you paint some way for sending me these beautiful gorgeous kits love them thank you if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye.